Hello folks, Simon here and welcome back once again to Final Fantasy 7 and today I'm going to be making a succinct guide to all of the wall market stuff which is where we need to pick all of the correct items so that Cloud will be chosen by Don Corneo above Tifa or Aerith. Now why will you want this? Well you might want this because of the fact that like me you're playing a version of the game that comes with trophies. And there is a trophy associated with Cloud being selected instead of the two women. However, even if you're not caring about trophies, you get some pretty fun dialogue with Don Corneo should Cloud be the pick. As always, a huge shout out and thank you to everybody who supports the channel as a YouTube member or patron. And let's get started. So the bare minimum requirements are to get a dress and a wig. Any will do, but in order to get the trophy, we need to do more than that. So we're going to start by going south and speaking to the dude outside of this very innocent looking place. Hmm. And then ask them about Tifa. Uh, they will give us some information about Tifa being interviewed by Don Corneo. And fortunately, his mansion is located also in War Market. So head up north and then make your way over to the dude here at the entrance. And he will tell you, eh, the only way you're getting through me is if you're of the lady variety. So Aerith hatches this just totally genius plan of dressing Cloud up as a lady, to which Cloud is not too thrilled about. But that's what we're going to do. So head over here into the dress shop. This will kickstart the question itself we're going to speak to the fella behind the counter and he'll tell us that okay yeah we he'll make a dress or rather his father will make a dress if we actually go and help him back because he's drunk in the bar so we're going to head over to the bar next and we're going to find the father just located here on the stool uh, there's a dude over there that kind of needs the loo but we'll sort that out later also part of this quest speak to the father for now behind the bar and then Aerith will ask him about making a dress for us and once we've gone through the pleasantries, he'll want to know what dress to make for us. And we want something that's soft and shimmers. You can select the other options, but you won't get the dress that we need, which is the silk dress, in order to be chosen by the Don, which will give us the trophy. So make sure you select soft and shimmers. After which, head back to the dress shop where the old man will be waiting for us. We can speak to him, try the dress on. But we won't get to see Cloud in it right now, but we do need to do this little bit to advance. And then we can go ahead and leave the dress shop. With the beautiful silk dress in our possession, we next need to worry about our hair situation. And that's going to involve a wig. So make your way over to the gym because that's the first port of call that you want to go to, of course, when you need a wig, if you didn't know that. And if you go ahead and speak to Big Bro here, he will allow you to challenge this guy. And by pressing square, cross, circle, if you're playing on PS4, whatever controller you're using, of course, will give you the right instructions, I hope. Uh, you can do that numerous times during this little mini game to do squats. And if you do more squats than your opponent, you will win the best wig, which is the blonde wig. If you don't get the blonde wig, if you don't beat the opponent, then you'll probably want to reload and try again. Make sure you do win. It's not difficult and get that wig. Okay, two items down, but we've still got a fair few to go. So we're going to take a brief detour before we do anything else and head into the restaurant. And when we do this, we're going to sit down on the empty stool. There's only one, so you don't get a whole lot of choice in the matter there. Choose the sit down option, and then the menu will be presented to you. I don't believe it matters what you choose, but I always choose today's special. This seems to do the job correctly for me. After which, Cloud will have his dinner, and then you want to choose the it was all right option. Do not choose the other options. Make sure you choose the correct option there. It was all all right and you will get a pharmaceutical coupon and that's going to come in handy later on but for now we're going to work on the tiara so make your way up here into this particular uh, shop the materia shop and then speak to this fellow here and he will want a man-to-man -man conversation sorry Aerith, you need to stay out of this one uh, after that we're going to select i'll go and then make our way over to the inn so the inn, if you haven't stayed there already, is the building to the southwest of the bottom screen. Um, and then we just need to spend 10 gil to stay the night. If you're running out of money, by the way, for whatever reason, to buy some of the things we need to buy for this quest, then you can fight enemies down in the uh, area just before Wall Market for gil. Make sure you choose the 200 gil option once you're staying at the inn as well. And then that will give you uh, something else, which you can take back to the previous fellow. And he will exchange it for a diamond tiara. Now, if you purchase the other items at the inn that weren't 200 gil, you could end up with the glass tiara or the ruby tiara. 
Next up, we're going to head to the building that's just above the item shop, or the shop that's got the word item written across it, and speak to the guy behind the counter selecting the digestive item once you get that particular choice to be made. That key item is going to come in useful for the next stage of the quest, and we're going to head back into the bar where we found the drunken father earlier, and give the medicine to the person that's struggling a little bit in the toilet. That's the digestive we just looted. And in return, we get the sexy cologne. Oh, we're storming through this quest now. And if you think things have been weird up until now, you probably want to wait until your parents leave the room before continuing. Make sure you speak to this guy here. He will give you the member's card, which will give you access to the Honeybee Inn. Ooh, I'm sure Cloud hates coming into this place. Right, once you've made your way in here, you can choose either of the left rooms. Uh, I'll choose the bottom one, but I don't think it makes any difference. Uh, whichever one you go in, go through the various story sequences and dialogue that take place in the room. And that will reward you with the briefs, which you're going to need. And we are never to talk of this again, you understand? Well, I suppose at least until the remake comes out next year. Oh my goodness, what is this going to be like in that game? Uh, anyway, you want to head north here into the room with the makeup women. And they will go ahead and make you up if you speak to the one on the end here. And that's pretty much it. Oh, our quest is done, at least for the items that we need. Next up, we're going back to the dress shop. And once you make your way back to the dress shop, Cloud will go into the changing room of his own accord for a little scene without any shame whatsoever, it appears, and exit as Miss Cloud. So if you followed my instructions as I've given them to you, then you should have done everything needed for the game to uh, make sure that Don Corneo does select Cloud as his girl and that will give you the trophy. But before we head back to Don Corneo's mansion, Aerith herself needs to make a bit of an effort so she's going to head into the changing room also. And she comes out in the same red dress that we've seen her in in the remake trailers recently. So it sounds like they're being faithful to this section of the game, at least with what we've seen so far. And with that done, that's pretty much it. Let's make our way back up north. And once you re-enter Don Corneo's mansion, there'll be a bunch of scenes for you to make your way through. And you'll find yourself, along with Tifa and Aerith, at some point standing in front of the Don himself as he makes up his mind. And in this case, dum -da -da dum drum roll. Yes, there we go. We've done it. Okay, so you will get the trophy for this, although it doesn't occur until the next scene. Uh, let's just skip ahead so I can show that to you. There it is. There's the trophy earned. And, of course, if you're going for the Platinum Trophy on PS4, you are going to require that trophy along with every other trophy. And there we have it then, guys. The only other thing worth mentioning, a bit of a bonus for you, um, thanks for uh, to Red Mario Nanaki 13 on live stream for pointing this out, is not to forget the hyper that's located in a hidden uh, little box behind the bed there, so you can't see it, or in a hidden place rather. I don't know if it's in a box, maybe it is. Um, so yeah, sorry Don, need that hyper more than you do. There we have it there guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, don't forget to drop a like, let me know in the comment section if you managed to get that trophy, and are you enjoying playing through Final Fantasy 7, and are you looking forward to the remake, I know I certainly am, if you're able to start by any of the live streams in future then please do so, it's always great to say hello to you guys, but that's it for today, thanks for checking out the episode, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>